ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel and in today's video I'm going to be playing a free-to-play game that is available on Steam last year on April it is called Potion Commotion I don't know what it's about but it looks very very colorful so please press the like button if you enjoyed this kind of video or if you enjoy gaming content also, subscribe to the channel, turn on these notifications, so you won't miss a single upload. Until then, let's go ahead and play. You know, it's uncertain whether or not if this is going to be a Let's Play, but if so, then I'll let you know. Right now, I just downloaded this game, and I'm not bored. Maybe I am, because I need some some uh, some ideas. Well, not ideas, but more likely a game that I could play uh, for the time being. I still got to finish that one game for this month. And then I have to focus on next month. And then the next month. But I have to say, ladies and gentlemen, this has been... Very exhausting for me. Trying to come up with certain content for my channel is just very difficult for me sometimes. But I, I find I can't talk. I find a way, and that's technically it. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So it's finished loading, and now it is time to play the game. Look, Amrieta. It's my new assistant, here for their first day on the job. Oh my goodness, it has some voiceovers. Finally! It's about the time they showed up. Actually, on the contrary, I know there was voiceovers in this game because I looked at the options to make sure I turned down the music of this game. So, either way, I should not be surprised, but I was overjoyed by this. Why, hello there, young whippersnapper. Well, aren't you a funny-looking one? Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Wogglebog the Wizard, and this creature beside me is my talking pet pig, Amrietta. <clears throat> Bogsy, we've been over this. I'm not your pet. I'm a strong, independent pig who don't need no owner. Now, when is my dinner being served? Later, Amrietta. Now look, young whippersnapper, as you well know, my potion-making business isn't doing too well at the moment. Profits are at an all-time low. In fact, the situation is so bad we haven't eaten for three whole days. Yesterday, today, and tomorrow. But with you on board, I think our fortune's about to change. Yeah! My stomach is depending on you! As my assistant, you'll be tasked with turning my desolate garden into a lively location full of trees, plants, and creatures, each producing ingredients used for making potions. Once we have enough ingredients to brew, I'll stir them up in my cauldron, making a magical potion, enabling us to reap the rewards. I hope the reward is food! Not quite, Amrietta. Our reward will come in the form of coins, elixir, and experience points. All important elements to grow our potion empire. That's interesting. Aw, oh, jeez! I wanted food! As we make more and more potions, we'll unlock new recipes, new items, and new challenges. So what are you waiting for? Let's get down to work. Oh, one more thing. Do you need help learning the ropes? I'm going to say yes, because this is going to be my first time. Hi, welcome to the Potion Commotion tutorial. You'll be a wizard at this game in no time. The goal in Potion Commotion is to make as many magical potions as you can, while building a big and beautiful garden as you do. You're going to learn how to make your first potion in this tutorial. But first, let's go over the user interface. Okay. Coins, elixir tally. Starting in the top right corner. That's the top right uh, of your screen. We have a 
ongoing display of your coin and elixir tallies. Coins and elixir are what you use to purchase and upgrade items in the game, and you earn coins and elixirs for each potion you make. Finally, there's tokens, the bronze icon. This is a rare currency that is mostly used in the city. I see. In the upper left, you will find your cur current level as well as your experience bar, which displays your progress towards uh, reaching the next level. Once the bar fills all the way, you'll level up unlocking brand new potions, items, and more. Well, I am aware of that because, well, I play certain mobile games. Alright, so here are the ingredients inventory. <coughs> Excuse me. Got a tickle there. Then spread, then spread across the bottom of the screen is your inventory. This is where the number of each ingredient you own is displayed. Totals will go up as ingredients are collected in your garden and back down when they're being used up in potions. The faded ingredients without numbers below haven't been unlocked. Okay. Okay, so we have the menu and screen buttons. And scene buttons, excuse me. Two interactable buttons displayed on the UI are the scene button on the left. I think it's this one, and the menu button on the right. Clicking the menu button will reveal the settings, shop, potions, and achievements buttons. Click on the scene button will transport, transport, I think it's transport the player between the garden and Wogglebog's house, okay? That's good. Okay, so I think it tells me to enter the garden. Good job. You entered the garden. This is where all the action takes place. Why is this sheep has three eyes? That's kind of creepy. Anyways, the garden is where you place all your tree, trees, plants, and creatures, making it the hub for all ingredient production. It will also be where all your bonuses and pesky pets appear. Right now it's a bit empty. Let's try placing some items down. Potion ingredients. But first, let's check out how to make our first potion a happy potion. Okay, this is where we start off. To check out a potion's ingredients, you can head over to the potion tab. Found in the menu, excuse me, and click on the info tab of the potion you want to look at. This is also where you find important information. No. Important info, such as how much a potion sells for. Wait a minute, that's not a sheep. It, it looks like a sheep, but it has no... I don't know. I do not know. Anyways, let's go to the potion tab. Come on. Okay, so this is going to be the happy potion that represents light. So... I can't buy it, because I have to look at the info. It sells only 10 coins, generates 1, and gives 150 stars. And the type of it is light. Purchasing items. I, I think I know how to purchase items. I guess you have to go to the store and get some sweet treats or sweet trees 
And we're going to place it right over here. Oh, we can color it. I'm going to go with purple. Hate it. Consider that as a compliment. I'm going to go with... Oh, thanks. So I'm going to go with purple. And... We're just going to make it blue for now. Alright. Going back to the shop, and we're going to get plants. This is the magic jelly bean. Costs 31 coins, while this one costs 39. Oh my goodness. Um... Well, it's not the worst purchase I've ever seen. I don't know what's going, what's going on with that. Find a good spot. You've sealed the deal. It's all yours. All right. So next up we have creatures. Oh, that is a sheep. And it has three eyes. Interesting. And it wants me to get more. Ingredients. Okay, the garden looks better already. Each item is now producing their own unique ingredients. Okay. Upgrades. Did you know you can make it items grow and produce ingredients faster? This is done with upgrades. Upgrades are purchasable for every item in the game and are bought using elixirs. Okay. Let's go to the shop. And we're making our sheep. I don't know. Pests and bonuses. While you continue to manage your garden's sneaky pests and collectibles, bonuses will appear through your garden. Bonuses are collected after being clicked on and are super handy for gaining resources. Pesky goblins, on the other hand, will try to steal your hard-earned coins. A shift click will scare them away. And the three... The three, um... Three bonuses, um... Types are flying pigs, supply drops, bouncy, whatever you call it. Can you catch them all? The spider are other types of pests that steals ingredients. Unfortunately, I don't speak blobby. Okay, so that's cool. For a minute there, I thought it was something scary, but it's good. I'm probably not going to play this too often. Not that I'm scared, but it's like, I don't know. I just don't know just yet. But, let's get to the pauldron stirring. Awesome work. You now have enough ingredients to make a happy potion. Once you have enough ingredients to make a potion, they'll be taken out of your inventory. And a potion will start being brewed in the cauldron. Usually, this would happen automatically. But for the sake of the tutorial, we'll show you how you can speed up production. This can be done by clicking on the cauldron to make a completion bar feel quicker. So give it a go now and then you'll be completing completely done with the tutorial. I see. Congratulations. You successfully completed the tutorial. Fill your pockets, my friend. 
Hocus Pocus! Alright, so now it is automatically. This is this is kind of reminds me of a clicker game. The clicking has <laughs> begun! Mm-hmm. Oh, I love up. on your way up, kiddo. I love up that quickly. Well, there's more where that came from. Interesting. Okay, what's the potion we have? We have the dark potion. And let's see what it is. It sells for 30 coins, generates three, gives 200 stars. And type is dark. So what we need is a volcano uh, ice cream. We need chilies. We also need dragon egg. That's interesting to know. Oh boy. This could take a while. That's right. But, but let me see here. Let me see. Oh, we got, um, oh, it can produce dragon eggs. That's cool. This one right here can produce jelly beans. Let, let me look. Thank you. This one right here can produce any type of ice cream. What is this star tree? Oh, this one produced chilies. Interesting. Okay. If you completed that level already? Then it must have been too easy. Try this one. Hmm. It's grand. This land you expand. I've always said we needed one of those. It would seem there's not enough room for that. Place it where you think you would fit. Get out of there, Goblin. Okay, so now I need to produce some eggs. Awesome. Good job, my friend. Now I gotta figure out how to... We'll just make these potions for now. Let's see. So amazing. I don't have any words whatsoever. But I do know this, ladies and gentlemen. This game is pretty... Not only it's colorful, col colorful excuse me, but it's also... It's also available on Steam. This calls for a little bit of bubbly. Okay, now it's mixing the fire potion. Alright. And I think it's a, a little expensive. Yes. Okay. See? Ooh, a love potion. Let's see what we need. The ingredients that we need is... We got the sweet tree. We got the star tree. We need the rose beds, and we also need the apple trees. Okay. The rose beds, that, that's interesting. And here's a normal apple tree. Pretty good. Pretty good. 
Well, I think I'm gonna stop from here. All I can say is this, I... I think I really like this game a little bit, just not quite yet. But, leave a like on this video if you want to see some more of this game, and that's technically it. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.